Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well today I have a really fun band deck for you created by Brian Gottlieb. He's one of my favorite content creators. He does a podcast with Jerry Thompson. It is called Arena Deck Lists. Definitely check it out. And Brian just puts out these decks that are more um, in tune with what me and Brewmaster Will do on our channel. As in just lots of fun stuff but very, very competitive fun and so i think you're definitely gonna like this list it is very interesting and they are both very good magic players so definitely check them out but before i get into today's deck if you'll do me a favor and hit that subscribe button it's fast it's free and it means the world to me also by the end of this video if you'll do me a favor we get one point for comments and one point if you rate this video but we get four points if you do both and i know four is better than two even though i don't exactly know what those points are doing other than i think more people get to see our video so please help us out okay that's enough of that let's get into the bant spirits deck but created by brian gottlieb um such an interesting deck you can look at this pile and probably think the same thing i did when i first looked at it and went well i guess i'm gonna give it a try because it doesn't look like it does anything how do you win with this deck well as you will see in the gameplay it wins very very well i think i'm sitting at like a 68 or 70 percent win rate with the deck right now it's bonkers so let's start off with our removal or our disruption package actually if you will we have three copies of fading hope just a phenomenal card right now especially with um all of the you know token creatures out there it's a straight removal card instead of just a bounce it's great for tempo especially against early game aggressive decks coming at you you go blue land pass they play creature you bounce it's really nice we have two copies of circle of confinement one white one colors for an enchantment when circle of confinement enters the battlefield exile target creature and opponent controls with mana value three or less until circle of confinement leaves the battlefield whenever an opponent casts a vampire spell with the same name as the card exiled with circle of confinement you gain two life so that second part doesn't ha happen a lot but there are a lot of vampires running around we even have one in our deck as you're going to see in just a second so it is a neat little secondary caveat but that um that second part that or the fact that it is an enchantment actually is very important for our deck and we actually have other enchantments this becomes one then this becomes one and they are important because we have geist snare in the deck it's one blue two colors for an instant this spell costs one less to cast if you control a spirit well we're playing a spirit deck so we've got a spirit here we got a spirit here we got spirits coming out here here we got spirits all over um so that's already going to be one blue one colors as long as one of those are on the board but then it also has it also costs one less to cast if you control an enchantment so if you have the confinement down or if you have gone ahead with one of our creatures we're going to talk about just in a minute and disturbed um then this only costs one blue and this is winning me games not only is this winning me games but we're also getting some help from syncopate one blue x instant counter target spell unless its controller plays x if that spell is countered this way exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard so we have a lot of ways to draw with this deck between the toski and the uh mischievous uh cat guys we get to scry with this we want to make sure that we have one of these in our hand at all times it's pretty important make sure you're saving these for things that are really going to kill you like just destroy your game plan if they're playing a spot removal kind of deck um, make sure you're saving it for that big spot removal when you need it especially if you, you want to be protecting like this welcoming vampire um, or if they're playing uh, white or black and you think they're going to board wipe you that is definitely what you want to do right there is counter that spell for sure then let's get into our one drop creatures we have four lantern bears which is one blue for a creature spirit at one one flying and then it has disturbed so if it is in the graveyard you can pay one blue and two colors and it becomes an enchantment or a enchant creature enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and it has flying if a lantern's lift would be put into a graveyard from anywhere exile it instead and then we have four copies of jesper sentinel and then we have four copies of willow geist now this card is really good in this deck and i didn't think it i was like there's just not enough ways to trigger it because the only ways to trigger this in this deck is lantern bear and mischievous geist but it's enough it does the trick you do one of those even one of those it's a three three it's either a three three flyer or a two two that draws cards and if you have both on it i believe it's a four four that draws cards either way it's pretty strong in this deck and it's really fun and if it dies you gain a little bit of life and the two drop slot we have four copies of clarion spirit you know why you've seen it in action and then we also have two mischievous cat guys talk about an amazing card just on art alone i love it it's one blue one colorless for a cat spirit at one one whenever a mischievous cat guy steals combat damage to a player draw a card you can disturb it for one blue two colorless enchant creature enchant creature has whatever this creature deals combat damage to a player draw a card if cat like curiosity would be put into a graveyard from anywhere exile it instead so i, I just 
I love that art. Super good. At the three drop slot, we'll move along. We have Welcoming a Vampire. You've probably already seen it, but we're going to read it anyways. One white, two colors for a creature vampire at 2-3 with flying. Whenever one or more creatures with power two or less enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. Super, super cool. It's a 2-3 flyer. It draws you cards because everything in the deck is going to be two or less other than the Toski and or another Welcoming Vampire. Speaking of which, it's it's not legendary, so you can stack those and get multiple triggers. And then for just a little bit more draw, if you would like it, we have three copies of Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Can't be countered and indestructible. That is all very nice. Don't get me started if you don't have a Willow Geist. You can just start putting uh, Mischievous Cat Geists on it. We can put um, the... Um, I'm sorry, it's going to be a cat like curiosity on it or the lantern's lift and just get it, you know, up in the air and double drawing once when it attacks, once when it hits them. A lot of fun synergies in the deck. Let's go into our land real quick. We have one island, two forests, two layer of the hydras, both uh, um, get around board wipes as well as a mana sink. It's very useful. We have one of the slow lands on white blue. We have four pathways on blue white, four pathways on white green. We have four, two slow lands on green white. Four pathways on blue green and three slow lands on green blue so i think you're going to enjoy the deck i sure know i did once again thank you very much brian gottlieb i think you build the most fun decks and they're not only fun and with cards that you look at and think there's no way this deck can win but they do and they're competitive um i don't know if they're ever tier one sometimes they are but either way i just love what you put out make sure you check out his and jerry thompson's um podcast like i'd mentioned stick around to the end for the summary and without further ado let's go ahead now and get in some of this gameplay Benjams. Benjams. let's do it okay they go first with three lands uh two pathways on green white and a force uh a circle of complainment two lantern bearers and a jespera sentinel so let's see if i can get lucky and draw into a blue land or another green or another sentinel i guess that would help <laughs> So we've got red, green. Oh, that is a great draw for us. So we lead with a forest into the Sentinel. We drew a Willow Geist, so next turn we can go Willow Geist into a Lantern Bear. Likey. Um, well, that is a little awkward, but that's okay. Um, no, I could. No, it's not awkward at all. Willow Geist, Lantern Bear, Auto Pay, Hydra. And hope that they don't play Cinderclasm. <laughs> Triumphant Adventure. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that real quick. There's some blue land off the top. That's gonna help us out right now. Let's go ahead and. I wish it didn't do it that way. Um, I should have. Yeah. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Let's go wide. It doesn't matter what it taps. It, it just, it really doesn't matter. And the turn. I actually need one of these lantern bearers to die so I can put it on a Geist and the Geist gets bigger plus the flying and the plus one plus one from the lantern. So we've got four colors. Black, red, white, blue, green. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, we're all, <laughs> we're represented. Emerson Predator, that is a problem. Fading Hope, okay. We'll throw this out on white. Let's see what our next card is. Oh yeah, it's too big. We don't get to scry. What am I thinking? Uh, I should have attacked with the Hydra too. It was only one more point of damage, but if we lose by one, <laughs> well, then that's not fun. Uh, they'll probably play the Predator again. Okay, that's not bad. We need those coming. Pass. Take our turn. Land, oh land. Next, next. Let's get in with these two. Okay, we'll go ahead and cast that on the Geist. And the turn. Now they get to put another creature out, which will protect the Predator, which is bad. Mm. 
Oof. Linavala. Well, either way, they can sacrifice that to make that indestructible, so. Let's see what we rip off the top. Oh, they're coming in with the Predator, huh? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Rip our Fading Hope out. Thank you. You just made our Willow guys bigger. <laughs> Oops. Eh. No blocks. I could have blocked with the Sentinel, but we really don't need to. Down to 16. Another land is not what I wanted. So let's go ahead and next... Uh, let's fire this up for four. No, hold on. Yeah, yeah, four. I was gonna use, do five with the Sentinel and the Bear, but I'm, I'm gonna attack with the Bear. Or, uh, yeah, the Lantern Bear, just to get it killed for next turn. They're like, do I really want to do that? I, I, either way, I, I'll get a plus one, plus one out of this for the guy. So I get two plus ones if they eat it. Uh, if they don't eat it with the Predator. If they eat it, I get one. So we take him down to six. And the turn. Crack them all. Whenever it dies, I think they get a yeah they get a creature with X yeah, yeah. they swing and they don't get any uh do this is it still plus yeah it still pluses right it just doesn't eat anything so that still eats that it's still we still get a five five out the deal and let's block next turn if we need to. Syncopate, that's a big one. So let's throw this out on green. I think I... If I swing with both, they have to block. But I kind of want to syncopate whatever they do next turn. If I fire up the land and swing... They don't have to block the Willow Geists. One, two, three, four, five. What could they have? They've been waiting on a fifth land. Let's go ahead and go with just the Willow Geist. Holding up the Sink of Pate. Okay, they're going to take the block. We couldn't have killed them either way, so we didn't have any tricks there. Might get a sacrifice out of that just for, to do it. I don't know. There's the sack. That resolves. Next. Down to one. And the turn. Now the way things are looking, they need another creature. There's their fifth land they've been waiting for. Man, legendary. So this is all just legendary crazy stuff. Old stick fingers. One of you casts this spell. Reveal X cards from your library. And tell you reveal X cards. Put creatures in your graveyard. So we'll let... So that gets to happen. And then uh, let's go ahead and syncopate it for. Doesn't matter. We'll do it for four. I think this guarantees the win by countering that. That way we can attack with all three of our creatures the, the Hydra, the Sentinel, and the Willow Geist, and our opponent can't really stop us. Doesn't have life link. Pass. No blocks. Pass. I think that's game. <laughs> yeah. It's a Toski. So we could, uh. Let's throw the Toski. Let's 
Let's make this a 1-1. One, one. Didn't even need to do the creature. We're good. Good game. <laughs> Wazoo. Waza. <laughs> we go first. We have a Hydra, Lair of the Hydra, and a green white pathway. So that can go on white. Clearing on Spirit, Welcoming Vampire, Lantern Bearer, Geist, uh, Geist Light Snare, and a Sentinel. So we're going to keep this and lead with the Hydra into the Sentinel. And then next turn, we can go Clarion Spirit, Bear. Boom. Big turn. Shambling Gas coming down. So we'll throw this out on white. We will go with the Clarion Spirit into a Lantern Bear auto pay. Get ourselves a trigger there. Turn two, not looking bad. We are looking like we're playing against Mono Black, so they can, they can deal with this. So we'll throw this out on blue to get all of our colors. We're going Welcoming Vampire. We're gonna go with the Jesper Sentinel Auto Pay, tapping the Clarion Spirit. Get ourselves another token. We got all kinds of flyers. We get to draw a card. Circle of Confinement is the play. Boom, boom, down to 18. Pass it back. We only got a few more turns, <laughs> especially if they don't take get rid of that. Um, let's see. So we go. We're gonna need to hold on to that. So we go confinement on the shambling gas. They're going to kill it in response, most likely. I don't care about the prosperous innkeeper as much. Here comes the sack. Plum the forbidden. Minus one of our. Flyers, probably this one. That's fine. We'll, we'll use it next turn. Um, resolves. Resolve. Resolve. So they're going to lose some life. Let's go ahead and attack with you, 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 and you. We need the blue out of the Sentinels. Um, since it, the tapper messed us up, I should have paid attention to that. We would have been attacking with more. Definitely a little bit of a mess up there. Take our opponent down to 12. And the turn. Meat Hook Massacre is going to get countered really well. Auto pay. That's not happening. Pass. My turn. Uh, we got another Lantern Bear. Let's go ahead and save that in case they board. Why? We got it. Yeah, they don't have any more removal. Did it. <laughs> what do we got? Klenaz? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, opponent. When we go first, we have a pathway on white, blue, which we'll put on white because we also have an island. We don't have green, which is unfortunate for the Willow Geist. We have Lantern Bear, two Syncopates, and a Mischievous Geist. I'm going to keep it because we have turn one, two. And, and then when we hit green... Um, the, once our one and two die, we start firing it up on the Willow Geist. It gets bigger. So we'll throw this out on white. Let's go ahead and get the mischievous cat geist out there. Swing for one, and next turn we can try to start protecting our... Not a whole lot of protection. <laughs> not a whole lot. Not without another land. And even then... I guess this is a better... Uh, either way, we have Syncopates and Geist Snare, depending on what they do. That is a gorgeous path. Oh, there we go. So let's put this on blue. We don't need another white. I need a green really bad. We're going to swing in for two. Hopefully we draw. Oh, I shouldn't have played the land yet. Boo. We draw a card. It's going to be a green land. Watch. <laughs> and the turn we're done. Uh, disc uh, discard up to two cards, then draw that many. We l definitely let them do that. We want to be countering cards that are actually going to kill us. Let them cycle through the deck as much as possible. If we counter this, they're eventually going to draw their good cards anyways. Uh, oh, so they are Graveyard Reoccursion. Okay. So we have to definitely be paying attention to that. They are going to be trying to pull that out of the graveyard, in my opinion. If not, then they just needed it out of their hand because their hand was getting too big. Okay, so we'll throw this out on green. Um, yeah, I throw the Willow Geist. 
Maybe I should have attacked first. Let's go ahead and swing now. Excuse me. Okay, we draw a card. Nice, more green. End the turn. Yep, let him do it. Fill that graveyard up. Fill it up. All of these are really doing work for us. We actually need one of these to die so we can power up our Willow Geist. Card in the Fortel, probably a counter spell. They can't use it this turn, so we're fine there. They pass the turn. Throw out a land. Um, let's first swing. Take our opponent down to 12. We draw a card. It's another land. Um, so, one, two for the s snare, and then syncopate plus one, two. I think I'm going to wait a turn to throw these. Mm, but then again, we speed up the clock one more turn. So right now we're on a, what, four-turn clock? This puts us on a three-turn clock. So we'll end the turn there. That way we have a Geist Snare into a Syncopate for one. That should be enough to keep us pretty safe here. Land is a play. So we definitely aren't letting that happen. So I think we just... Syncopate for three. No, no, no. Yes. I was going to say, maybe I, I leave up the Geist Light with this, but that was Summoning Sickness. Okay, so we... Let's get another blue out there. We got a lot of blue in our hand. Um, we swing for four. And we end the turn. Another draw. End the turn because we want to hold up all of our counter magic again. Turn two more turns. We're hoping they just keep tapping out. That's fine with us. We don't care about that at all. It does not affect us. Card they wanted. Put a card away. This will be a land. There's the land. Probably on blue. They have plenty of black. <laughs> uh, that's not going anywhere, my friend. And the thing is, even if they kill one of these, I can just throw it back out. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. Once again. I'm liking all this blue. Let's swing in with the squad. So, we'll definitely... If I counter that, they could do something crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I need both counters on the spells. So if I Geist Snare, then I can only syncopate for three. Let's do it. Let's make this a two-turn clock. If I can. Draw a card. It's a Toski. Oh, I want to throw it. We're not doing anything. Oops. Get that out of here. So we can syncopate for three. They're smart and they're going for the Geist because if they go for one of these two, we just bring it back out. Shadow's Verdict to get syncopated for three. Woo, we barely had enough of that. Woo! <laughs> Mirodin. Hello. Let's do this. We go first. We have three lands, and they are gorgeous lands. We have a island, a pathway on green, white, and a slow land on green, blue. Welcoming Vampire, Two Fading Hopes, and a Toski. Wish our creatures were a little better, but our land looks amazing. So we'll lead with this here island. Pathway will go on white, and then slow land. It'll get out everything we want. Hello. White for the opponent. So let's also put out white. Doesn't matter what we throw this turn. Are they mono whites? And they just missed their one drop or they control. What do you got, Mirrodin? So maybe mono white. 
Uh, so this can disturb as an enchantment. We're doing the same kind of thing. Let's just tempo out our opponent. Fading hope that back to their hand. Uh, that is not a legendary creature. I am definitely holding on to that. Two, one triggers the other. Tr yeah, we'll lead, go ahead and get our welcoming vampire out there. Next turn, we can welcoming vampire um, triggering and then also hold up the fading hope. And then if need be, Toski. We have, we have a bunch of options right here. They're probably just going to want to replay this. Or if they have a three drop, they'll drop that. Okay, that's exactly what I thought. Doesn't really bother us at the moment. One mana, huh? Uh, I was going to say, how do you get rid of that with one mana? Because they were hovering it. So here we throw, because this is going to go on blue. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw out the other welcoming vampire triggers. And then we'll throw this out on blue. We'll swing in for two. And then we're done. Next turn we go Toski, holding up the fading hope. Oh, I can't. Hold ah stupid paladin class. Power kill. That's fine. Well. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna fading hope that back to our hand. Um, I don't need another land. And then we're going to re-throw it, hoping they can't kill it again. But if they can, then they can. That's just what it is. We'll throw this out on green. Throw out the Willow Geist. Get a draw card. Pass it back. Hopefully they can't kill it, because then we can protect it the next turn with this. If we save enough mana, I might just go Toski. I don't know yet. I think I go Sentinel holding up Geist Light Snare next turn. Willow Geist, oh, what does that do? Uh, life Link, no, no, no. Uh, enchant players, as th this permanent transforms into a curse of leeches, attach it to a player. At the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep, they lose one life, and you gain one life, and it is daybound. Okay. So, we definitely can't pass the turn. If I throw this and this, I can't do that as well. I think I want to throw the Clarion Spirit holding up the counter spell. I'm not going to double spell this turn. Throw out the land. Swing in with the 2 3. And end the turn. I don't like this. So if they pass the turn, they get a 4 4 lifelink nightbound. Okay. So what does this do? Um, enchant creature. Enchanted creature has whenever this creature enters the battlefield under your control. This creature is plus one. Pl whenever a creature. Uh, presence enters the battlefield create two one ones no let's counter that it's too much value for me okay oh we got the other counter spell but we don't have the land to do it do we if i throw the toski so let's draw the card oh perfect so now i can throw that we'll get the double spell trigger and then we'll swing in. I don't know how many double spells we're doing now. I think I just hold back the Clarion Spirit one more turn. Maybe one more turn. And the turn. No, thank you at all. No, 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 no. Snare, snare, snare. <laughs> yes. Okay, Brew Crew, that is going to do it for Bant Spirits. And uh, not a whole lot of changes because the deck works really, really well. Um, one little change, this was obviously a best of three deck. That's what... Um, Brian Gottlieb and Jerry Thompson focus on is the best of three format. So I didn't even really change it at all other than he had three forests in and, um, and no islands. And I, I originally changed it because I just wanted that one island, especially since blue is pretty predom predominant in the deck. And I want to make sure I hit that one drop for Lantern Bear if I don't have the green or the card to throw uh, one of these two green creatures, the Sentinel or the Geist. So I did make that change, but that was from the beginning. The only other change I am going to make is I'm going to drop one Toski. The deck does not need it to win.
win. It's an amazing card, but it is the top end, and I just think Syncope is too strong. All of this disruption is amazing. It was almost going to be a fourth Fading Hope, but I think the Syncope is better. There's so many board wipes out there right now uh, because everybody's playing creature decks, so if you're not playing a creature deck, you're playing a deck with board wipes in it. So these are super important to make sure you hit one of those. So that's the changes I'm going to make. Let's go ahead real quick and go over what I think you should or shouldn't be spending wild cards on, in my opinion. Um, so uncommons and commons, go ahead. You know, we're not going to talk about that. Will guys, um... I don't know if you should be crafting it if you don't have a lot of wild cards i think it's a fun card i think it's phenomenal i've been enjoying every single deck it's in i have not regretted spending a single wild card on this i think i only opened one and i had to craft the other three so that one's buyer beware but in my opinion it's fun enough to craft and play in decks especially if you like these kinds of decks anything that this would go in but keep in mind it's a build around card so just keep that in mind um we have uh welcoming vampire i think this is gonna be a staple in a lot of decks but it's you know still early format i've seen it a, a few different places now i think it's a safe craft but maybe just consider uh waiting another week before you craft that one uh toski is both good and not good i mean you're gonna use it again in the future so crafting two maybe but maybe not i, I think basically all of these cards here are just buyer beware i think they're all really good and i don't think you're gonna feel bad that you got them but you just might not end up playing them a lot and they might not be super strong cards in other decks so just keep all of that in mind and then of course lands are always safe in my opinion you know that if you watch the channel they go in all kinds of different decks so craft away on the land and uh that being said other than the land being extremely expensive a lot of it is older land though you should have already owned it um, this is a pretty budget-friendly deck, so I think you're going to enjoy the fact that it doesn't cost too much to craft, that it doesn't take too much to craft, especially if you've been playing for a while because you'll already own most of these cards. The only new cards you're really probably going to have to get are the Welcoming Vampire and maybe some of the Slowlands. Maybe you didn't craft some guys, so you might need those, but... Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to craft. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I asked in the beginning, if you would please not only comment, but rate the video, please hit that subscribe button. It's fast, it's free, and it really does mean the world to me. It's so easy for you, and it means so much to me. Also, please hit that notification bell so that you know whenever we have new content come out. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.